So a lot of martial arts students want to know why their techniques don't seem to work when they're put in practice in a live fire drill or a competition. And I want you to understand something. Techniques, drills are all designed around an ideal circumstance, an ideal feed of an attack, an ideal speed of an attack, uh, even an ideal awareness. How often are you actually expecting an attack? Your timing changes drastically when you have to read somebody or when somebody ambushes you. So it's not that your techniques don't work. It's more that the specific circumstances that you have trained under are not being replicated in the live fire circumstance or the real world circumstance. So what you're looking at is having to train a multitude of circumstances and going beneath the specific technique. Don't ask yourself, how do I deal with a haymaker punch coming at my head? Ask, how do I deal with a looping attack coming around high into the outside? Open things up a bit. Start questioning yourself conceptually. Don't look at things in the terms of you know, a rote mathematical formula. A plus B does not always equal C. Sometimes A plus B equals X, Y, Z, or something even wackier. And oftentimes in the real world there are circumstances that contain variables so completely far off of the, the chain of expectation that you completely lose all semblance of the training scenario and next thing you know something that you've done a hundred thousand times doesn't serve you any good and may even end up getting you hurt. Um, the best I can say is analyze your techniques, analyze your drills as you're going through them over and over and over again and ask yourself what variables may change, what variables can change. Start dealing with less expected avenues of attack, start dealing with different angles. Uh, the trap and roll and grappling doesn't always work if the person has a solid base. You have to change their base first. Uh, front punch defense. It's about a million different ways to deal with a straight line punch coming in at you. Do you really need a million different ways or do you need to just understand the principle of what linear force is doing and kind of figure out range and leverage and movement on the fly? Start questioning yourself on concept. Train the techniques. You have to train the techniques. You have to develop that neuromuscular connection. But don't get married to the techniques. And that brings up another point. Uh, when you do get something, when you get a, a tricky technique that, that works, don't be surprised. Your training has paid off and you have caught something that you just instinctively saw. That's great. Don't get hung up on it. And don't go looking for these complicated answers to simple problems. If you go looking for the complicated answers, chances are you will be forcing the avenue, and it's not going to work out so well. You may be able to make it work, depending on the skill level of your opponent, depending on the uh, expectedness of the situation. There's a lot of variables. A lot of variables. So when it comes down to it, just Practice the concepts, practice the philosophy of the fight. Worry about the psychology and the body mechanics. Don't worry about the specific formula. The formula is just there to give you an idea, to give you a blueprint. But much like diet and exercise, a blueprint is just a blueprint. You have to specify it to your own self, your own style, your own internal formula, plus the circumstances of your environment. So I guess that's about all I've got for you. If I continue talking, I'll just be rambling. So, good night and good journey.